If you're seeing this video, I have great news. These sticker ledges that everyone has asked and asked and asked me about are finally on my site. I'm gonna switch these out while I talk about the evolution that these ledges have seen. I first designed them in September, 2021. There have been like five or six iterations since then. So I thought it would be fun for me to remove these original ledges and swap them for the brand new ones and talk about all the changes. Here are all the parts for my 10 ledges is laid out and then I'm also going to be using these acrylic dividers but I already have a bunch on the wall in between the stickers so I don't have them laying out with the rest of this. So first um, I made these ledges when I was making my return to markets after the pandemic in 2021. Sorry 2022? I had made this folding pegboard easel and I wanted to be able to, to display my stickers on it. And I had these little baskets that worked for it, but it just looked really weird. And it, it didn't look like a good presentation to me. And I, I had these acrylic ledges that I had been using for sticker storage that I thought I could put on my pegboard. Those were just too deep. So the stickers would fall forward and it just looked ugly. It wasn't a good market setup. And I thought surely there is something out there in the world that is shallow and good for displaying just like 20 stickers, not like 100. Dear reader, there was not. So I did what any sane person would do and I spent my weekend designing <laughs> something. That was this original ledge. So you can see these are all glued together right now. It has this end bracket. It has this back stopper piece, um, this like flat thing, and this front acrylic. So you can see them in use, they look good. But here's the thing, this was uh, ingenious and everyone wanted one. Thing is, you can't sell them like this because what was I gonna do? Like send them out and be like, oh yeah, here are the parts, but you have to like glue these together and also traveling with them is really annoying. So I kind of just decided like, okay, I can't sell these. Fast forward to May of last year and I was literally falling asleep and I had this thought in the middle of the night of how I could make them come apart. And I thought, what if I put little nubs on them so that they could come apart? Because part of the reason these were glued together was because this material isn't super thick so it would sag with the stickers on it. So that it has to be glued together. And then this back piece was here because I needed it in, so the stickers wouldn't fall through because these are thin they're gonna fall through the pegboard so i had this idea in the middle of the night to add these nubs so this would do two things one this would add a place where the sticker couldn't fall through and two this would make it so that these would go into the pegboard holes and it wouldn't sag right because it has support through it that was the first version the thing about that one many stickers are still wider so it didn't work so what do we do we add more nubs. So this was the next version. And you can see I had the nubs going all the way across and this worked well too. The only thing for this one is that the pegboard here is not super thick. It's 3 16 inches. So what's gonna happen is it starts to bow in in the middle or when you're in extreme heat, the pegboard bows out. These slots were not fitting well into the pegboard if it got warped. So what I did for that, I don't even know if you can tell in this video, but some of these nubs are longer than others and some are shorter. The ones that are longer are narrow and the ones that are short are wider. So the wider ones kind of snap into the pegboard just a tad, not a whole lot, just adds enough traction to where it holds on for life. And then the narrow ones are so if your pegboard does get warped and your ledges aren't in the pegboard all the way, there's still something there stopping the stickers from falling down. So when I had that design, I thought, you know what would be really cool? It'd be really cool if these were all totally acrylic material. I thought that would, that would look really cool. So that was an absolute shit show. I had an entire ledge collapse on a customer at a market while they were shopping and it still keeps me up at night. It was so embarrassing. Stickers were everywhere on the floor. Thankfully that was the only one that had collapsed but they're just it turns out there wasn't enough traction with this like acrylic plastic. So back to the mix of acrylic and hardboard we go. So the next thing that I had to redesign 
was the height of this front acrylic piece. So originally um, it was too tall so that these acrylic pieces, you had to put the dividers on first before you could add the other stuff. And that's just really annoying because I was having to make pencil marks on the pegboard to know where to put the acrylic dividers before I added the shelf. And it was just not a good system. It was really difficult. So I ended up changing the height of the front piece to be a little bit shorter so that you could put the acrylic pieces on after you had your stickers added. So that fixed that. But then it created this new issue for me, which was this. All the stickers were falling forward. <laughs> Not that much. Um, it depends on if your display is completely vertical or if it's slanted. So it wasn't an issue on my slanted easel because all the stickers were leaning back already, but on my rotating pegboard, which is a straight up and down display, the stickers did not have any support. But I kind of just accepted that issue for what it was because adding the acrylic dividers after the fact was more important to me then the stickers sometimes falling forward. I can just go back and fix those. So I accepted that, that for what it was for a while. That was how they stayed for a hot minute. I ended up leaving them like that until I had another middle of the night epiphany when I decided that I could actually make this tall. And what I needed to do for that was add these little slots. So these slots are at the same increment of the pegboard holes and you can slide the dividers in after you go but then this is still tall enough to where it stops the stickers from falling over. So it's the best of both worlds and this is the one <laughs> that is now on the site for you and I hope you enjoy. It has been such a labor of love getting these out in the world for everyone. I'm not joking when I say it was issue after issue and every time I solved one problem with these ledges a different one popped up. Thankfully they are now at a point where things will not collapse on customers and they come apart completely so it's great for traveling to whatever shows you have and they look so damn good with your stickers and I promise you there's not anything like this out in the world. You can find ledges, but they're going to be too deep. They're not going to make your stickers look nice. You can buy little baskets. You can't fit as many on the display. And honestly, I, I don't like the way it looks personally. I tried it. I'm sure there are other ledges out there, but I will tell you these hold up fantastic in the wind. We have had incredibly windy shows where some other of our products have blown away, but these have not because they're too narrow. There's not enough room for the wind to get in here and take these up. I don't understand the physics of it, but I can tell you that we have had shows that are insanely windy and the stickers have been fine. The best part is that you can display so many stickers with this. I literally have almost 20 stickers on display on three rows. So I'm gonna end up fitting close to 200 stickers on this wall that I have. So I hope you love these ledges. I hope they make your sticker display look even better. And if you need an easel for them, I have a free tutorial on my TikTok and my YouTube. And it is also included when you buy the ledges, which you can do the DIY version of purchasing the files from me and then cutting it yourself, or you can buy it from me and I will submit the order to this amazing laser cutting company who will then cut your ledges for you and ship them to you. The turnaround time for that is about a week and a half to two weeks. No, there is not a rush option. I'm so sorry. I hope this was fun. Let's do it again sometime. Um, as soon as I have this done, it's gonna be a while. I will show you what it looks like. So I'll see you soon. Just a girly pop in her finished sticker display on one side. I still have to do the other, um, but let me show you. So here's what it looks like completely finished. And then I still have to do that side and you can see on the surface level, there's not too much difference, but based off of everything I explained, there's a huge difference from that side to this side. I hope you love them and I hope that you're able to get a set and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.